are paying tribute to celebrities who have sadly passed away today, July 3rd, as well as those we've lost recently. We have heartfelt tributes in the second half of the video, so do stay with us. Before we begin this journey of remembrance, could we ask you to kindly hit the like button? Now it's time to appreciate the enduring legacies of these remarkable individuals. They may be gone, but their memories live on with us. Let's get started. Number 12. Robert Sherman, a voice that resonated across New York's classical and folk music scene. Robert Sherman, a cherished radio personality whose soothing voice graced New York's airwaves for over five decades on classical music station WQXR-FM, passed away on June 27, at the age of 90. Sherman's son Steve confirmed the cause of death as a stroke, the fourth he had experienced since 2021. Sherman's career at WQXR spanned over five decades, during which he introduced audiences to a diverse range of emerging and established musicians on his long-running shows, Woody's Children, The Listening Room, and Young Artist Showcase. He was known for his conversational interviewing style, transforming his shows into platforms where musicians could share their stories and perform live. Notable artists such as Jesse Norman, Itzhak Perlman, Robert Merrill and Leopold Stokowski graced his shows, highlighting his importance in the music scene. His most enduring legacy, Young Artists Showcase, a platform for upcoming musicians, remains on air even today. Described by WQXR's Chief Content Officer Ed Yim as the station's guiding spirit, Sherman's unwavering dedication to promoting young artists and his belief in the universal appeal of classical music personified the ideals of WQXR. Sherman leaves behind an unforgettable legacy, his immense contributions forever ingrained in the annals of New York's classical and folk music history. Tributes to Robert Sherman. Number 11. Lawrence Terman the cinematic visionary behind The Graduate and American History X. Lawrence Terman, an Oscar-nominated producer with a brilliant career spanning six decades, passed away on July 2nd at the age of 96. Terman's contributions to the film industry were immense, bringing unforgettable classics like The Graduate, The Great White Hope, and American History X to the silver screen. Beyond his successful producing career, Terman was known for heading the prestigious Peter Stark Producing Program at USC starting in 1991, fostering the next generation of filmmakers until his retirement in 2021. Terman began his film career as an agent and later moved to producing with his first film, The Young Doctors, in 1961. His life was a testimony to his passion for storytelling, evident in his book, So You Want to Be a Producer a guide and tribute to the crucial role of producers in cinema. Born in New York, Terman was not only a remarkable producer and mentor, but also a loving father and companion. He was married to Suzanne Treeb and had three sons, John, Andrew, and Peter. Terman's legacy lives on in his sons, grandchildren, and the numerous students and mentees from the Peter Stark program at USC. Terman's films, which include cult classics and groundbreaking dramas, have left an indelible mark on American cinema. He will be remembered as a transformative figure in Hollywood, whose dedication to nurturing talent and creating high-quality cinema has enriched the film industry and its audiences worldwide. Tributes to Lawrence Terman Number 10. John Haggins, a fashion icon and unstoppable spirit in the heart of design. John Haggins, the renowned fashion designer and television host, died on June 15th at the age of 79 at his home in Queens. Known for his innovative designs that became an icon of the late 60s and early 70s, Haggins left a profound impact on the fashion industry. Haggins had a knack for designing at a young age. He graduated from the Fashion Institute of Technology in 1964, beginning a career that would see him dress up celebrities like Raquel Welch, Dia Han Carroll, Farrah Fawcett, and Diana Ross. His designs were celebrated for their sensuality, often free of buttons or zippers, 
and featured on the covers of major fashion magazines. Haggins' career was not devoid of challenges. After facing difficulties in financing, he closed his business in 1972, but would later relaunch it several times, showcasing his indomitable spirit. Despite the challenges, Haggins continued to contribute to the industry and inspire many with his bold styles. In his later life, Haggins reinvented himself as the host of Globetrotter TV, a travel show on public access cable television in New York. His charismatic personality and passion made him a beloved figure on the small screen as well. Haggins' life was one of ceaseless reinvention and unwavering persistence, a testament to his creative spirit. His bold designs and larger-than-life persona revolutionized the fashion industry, making him an enduring icon for future generations. Tributes to John Haggins Number 9. Victoria Amelina, A Brave Voice, Silenced in the Battle for Ukraine Victoria Amelina, Ukrainian writer, died tragically from injuries sustained in a Russian missile strike on a crowded restaurant in Kramatorsk, eastern Ukraine, on June 27, at the age of 37. A leading figure in contemporary Ukrainian literature, Amelina was known for her powerful novels, children's books, poems, and essays that resonated deeply with readers. She emerged on the literary scene with her first book in 2014, and in 2021, she was honored with the Joseph Conrad Korzyniowski Literary Prize, a prestigious award given to a Ukrainian writer under 40. Additionally, she founded a small literature festival in the Donetsk region, further highlighting her commitment to the literary arts. Amelina dedicated her life not just to writing, but also to the pursuit of truth. In 2022, she joined the human rights organization Truth Hounds, investigating Russian war crimes in areas reclaimed by Ukrainian forces. She was also working on her first nonfiction book in English, detailing Ukrainian women documenting war crimes. Her loss is a profound one, particularly for the Ukrainian writing and journalism community, which has seen the toll of the ongoing conflict. So many books unwritten, stories untold, days unlived, wrote Ukrainian journalist Olga Tokariuk, capturing the profound sense of grief over her untimely death. Her profound writings on the realities of war in her homeland will serve as a lasting legacy, reminding us of the human cost of conflict. Tributes to Victoria Amelina. Number 8. Wayne Evans, a footballer who left a mark on the field. Wayne Evans, renowned as one of Welsh Pool's most illustrious footballers, passed away at his home in America at the age of 51 on July 2nd. Known fondly as Wanners, Evans left an indelible mark on the world of football, both in his native Wales and internationally. Evans was one of three brothers who all had significant football careers with Welsh Pool Town. His journey into the Football League began with his successful performance in the Welshpool Town team that won the Simru Alliance in 1993. Evans then moved to the professional realm, joining Walsall and making 183 appearances for the club. In 1999, he departed Walsall for Rochdale, where he made an impressive 259 appearances. He ranks 8th on Rochdale's all-time appearances list. Evans's career in the English Football League came to a close with a final move to Kidderminster Harriers in 2005. He returned to Welshpool for a short while before retiring from active football. Following his playing days, Evans transitioned into a coaching role. He initially worked with the youth team at Shrewsbury Town before moving to America and later Canada, where he continued his coaching career. Rochdale and Walsall Football Club, among others, expressed their heartfelt condolences to Evans' family and friends. His enduring contribution to football, from his days in Welshpool to his stellar career in the Football League, has left a lasting legacy. Tributes to Wayne Evans. It's to
Number 7. Mario Guerrero, a respected figure and lasting legacy in Major League Baseball. Mario Guerrero, Dominican professional baseball player, passed away at the age of 73 on July 2nd. Over an eight-year career from 1973 to 1980, Guerrero displayed extraordinary skill as a shortstop for four MLB teams, displaying versatility and passion for the sport. Guerrero's journey began in 1968 when he signed with the New York Yankees as an amateur free agent. A major turning point in his career came in 1973 when he secured the starting shortstop job with the Boston Red Sox, marking the start of a series of accomplishments. He showcased his resilience and adaptability, moving between multiple teams throughout his career, including the St. Louis Cardinals, California Angels, San Francisco Giants, and finally the Seattle Mariners. His career featured numerous notable moments, but perhaps none more so than his .315 batting average over 15 games with the Winter Haven Super Sox of the Senior Professional Baseball Association in 1989. Guerrero also left a legacy off the field. He became a figure of justice when he won a $640,000 judgment from Raul Mondesi for a portion of his salary, demonstrating a strong sense of fairness that won him respect beyond the diamond. Tributes to Mario Guerrero Number 6. Theo Paul Platz, a monumental figure in Dutch football. Theo Paul Platz, a legend of FC 20, passed away on July 2nd at the age of 76 after a prolonged illness. Paul Platz dedicated his entire career to FC 20, where he made a staggering 468 appearances and scored 82 goals. An integral part of FC 20's golden era in the late 60s and 70s, Paul Platz played a crucial role in the 1975 UEFA Cup Final against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Two years later, he etched his name in the club's history books by helping them win the KNVB Cup, FC 20's first major trophy. Paul Platz, who made his debut for the Netherlands national team in 1967, earned 13 caps and scored three goals. No FC 20 player has represented the national team more times than Paul Platz who had the privilege of playing alongside the likes of Johan Cruyff. Post-retirement, Paul Platz continued to serve FC 20 as a scout. His son, Budovin Paul Platz, followed in his footsteps, playing as a forward for clubs like FC 20 and PSV. Theo Paul Platz's legacy within Dutch football will forever be remembered for his loyalty, commitment, and contributions to the game. Tributes to Theo Paul Platz Number 5. Khosro Hassanzadeh, a revered maestro of Iranian artistry. Khosro Hassanzadeh, renowned Iranian painter, passed away at the age of 60 on July 2nd and marks the end of a chapter in the world of Iranian art. Hassanzadeh left an indelible imprint on the global art scene, with his works gracing the walls of some of the world's most esteemed museums. Under the mentorship of Aidin Agdashlu at Tehran University of Art, Hassan Zada embarked on his artistic journey in the 1980s, exploring and mastering the realm of painting. Over his career, he became renowned for his poignant and evocative works, portraying the intricate beauty and complexities of life. His unique style and exceptional talent brought him international acclaim. Hassan Zada's paintings have been exhibited worldwide and are part of the permanent collections of prestigious institutions including the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, the British Museum, the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston, the Aga Khan Museum in Toronto, and the Museum of Contemporary Art in Iran. His passing is a loss for the global art community and leaves a void in Iranian art that will be hard to fill. Yet his legacy continues to inspire and challenge, touching the lives of art enthusiasts and fellow painters alike. Tributes to Khosrow Hassanzadeh
Number 4. Anna Maria Bietti Sestieri, a luminous legacy in Italian archaeology. Anna Maria Bietti Sestieri, esteemed Italian archaeologist, passed away on July 2nd at the age of 80. Best known for leading the excavations of the Iron Age necropolis of Osteria dell'Osa, located east of Rome, Bietti Sestieri's research has left an indelible mark on the archaeological world. Educated at Rome under Massimo Palatino, she began her illustrious career in the early 1970s. Over the decades, she served as an archaeological specialist for the Soprintendenza Archaeologica di Roma, directed major excavations, presided over the Istituto Italiano di Preistoria e Protostoria, and served as the Soprintendente Archeologo del Abruzzo. In 2006, she joined the Department of European Proto-History at the Università del Salento. Bietti Sestieri's notable accomplishments also include organizing several major museum exhibitions and conducting archaeological digs at significant locations across Italy. She received the Europa Prize from the Prehistoric Society in 1996 and was elected as a corresponding member of the Archaeological Institute of America in 1993. Her numerous publications on Italian prehistory will continue to serve as crucial resources for future archaeologists. She will be remembered for her significant contributions to Italian prehistory. Tributes to Anna Maria Bietti Sestieri. Number 3. Minnie Bruce Pratt, a powerful voice for feminism and LGBT rights. Minnie Bruce Pratt, American poet, educator, and activist, passed away on July 2, 2023, at the age of 76. Pratt dedicated much of her life to the struggle for equality. After graduating with a PhD in English literature from the University of North Carolina, she became a founder of Woman Rights, a Southeastern Lesbian Writers Conference. She was also a part of Feminary, a Southern feminist writing collective, and LIPS, a DC lesbian direct action group. In her academic career, she served as a professor of writing and women's studies at Syracuse University and played a crucial role in the development of the university's first LGBT studies program. Her advocacy extended to her writings, which include her 1990 book Crimes Against Nature, in which she detailed the loss of custody of her children due to her sexuality. Together with lesbian writers Christos and Audre Lorde, Pratt received the 1991 Hellman Hammett Award for writers victimized by political persecution, solidifying her legacy as a relentless fighter against discrimination. Pratt, who split her time between Syracuse, New York, and Centerville, Alabama, was married to author-activist Leslie Feinberg until Feinberg's death in 2014. Her contributions to literature, academia, and the fight for human rights will continue to inspire generations. Tributes to Minnie Bruce Pratt. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 2. Ni Kuang, celebrated Hong Kong novelist and screenwriter Ni Kuang, a beloved Hong Kong author and screenwriter known for his thrilling fantasies and pointed political allegories, passed away on July 3, 2022, at the age of 87. His death was announced by his daughter-in-law, the actress Vivian Chow. Ni Kuang began his career as a public security official during China's land reform movement. He quickly became disenchanted with the Communist Party and fled to Hong Kong in 1957. After initially working in factories and other odd jobs, he found his calling as a writer of serialized fiction. Ni Kuang quickly gained recognition for his narrative prowess. He is best remembered for the Wisely series, a collection of about 150 adventure stories published as newspaper serials, featuring encounters with aliens and battles with intelligent monsters. The series also included pointed political criticisms, reflecting his disillusionment with the Chinese Communist Party. In addition to his remarkable literary contributions, Ni Kuang made significant contributions to the film industry. He penned the screenplays for over 200 martial arts films, including creating the storylines and central characters for Bruce Lee's first two major films, 
the big boss and fist of fury. Ni Kuang's death is a profound loss to the Chinese-speaking world, where he was a revered figure in both literature and cinema. Despite his immense contribution to the entertainment industry, his strong criticism of the Chinese Communist Party and his ardent advocacy for freedom of speech remain pillars of his enduring legacy. Tributes to Ni Kuang Number 1. Emily Howell Warner Pioneer in the sky and unbreakable aviator, Emily Howell Warner, the first woman to command the cockpit for a major American airline on scheduled flights and the first female to achieve the rank of captain, passed away on July 3, 2020, at the age of 80. The cause of death was complications of Alzheimer's disease and an injury from a fall. Emily was known for breaking barriers in a male-dominated industry. In the 1970s, she became the first woman to permanently take the pilot's seat on a major American airline and was hailed by industry and professional organizations as a trailblazer. Her feats didn't stop there. She was also the commander of the first all-women commercial crew and the first female member of the Airline Pilots Association. Despite facing initial resistance and skepticism from her male colleagues, Emily stood her ground, stating, the airplane doesn't know if you're male or female. She continued to fly larger planes, leading the first all-female commercial flight crew in 1986, and contributing significantly to the industry until her retirement in 2002. For her extraordinary achievements, she was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 2014. Emily's lifelong dedication to aviation inspires a new generation of women to achieve the rank of captain. Despite the adversities she faced, Emily's legacy transcends beyond aviation, demonstrating an unyielding spirit and a refusal to conform to societal norms. Her remarkable journey commenced from a department store job to pioneering heights, challenging societal norms, and creating a lasting legacy in aviation tributes to Emily Howell Warner. We kindly ask you to honor the lives of these remarkable individuals by showing your support and appreciation. Please like this video and continue watching as we pay respect to the legacies they've left behind.